Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can wrap your custom head meshes inside Maya using Metapipe. So let's open up Maya and go to the wrap system. Click on it and click on don't save. And in this scene, just import your head mesh. And while it is in the scene, just select it and click on wrap. This function splits the screen to two sides. Let's maximize the front view. And in here, just place all of your controls by selecting the main joint and move it to the head. And then you can also do scaling like this. And after that, you can start to move joints. But before starting anything, you can also go to the settings and turn off and turn on the symmetry of these controllers so let's turn on symmetry and go back and then we can start to place our controllers just click on the controller and then by dragging the gizmo you can place the joint onto the surface and it will look like this it will directly project onto the mesh so you need to do this for all joints let's go back and select this one and just because we enabled the symmetry it will follow with the symmetrical joint this one here one here and this line is not a jawline this is for the under jawline so it will be here and here so you need to place it under the head and then move it to the corner of the ear and this is middle of the ear, 0, 4. And 0, 3 is top corner. Let's go back to front view and just place the rest of the joints. This red line is for the crease area. And this blue line is for the lower lid crease. And let's place the mouth area, lips, that. And this yellow line is for the intersection area of the lips. Try to place it as close to the intersection area, but do not put it here. If it is upper lip, put it to the upper lip. And let's place nasal labial line this for the chin and let's control it from perspective view as well just check if the joints are in the correct place if it is not just move it to the correct places so this is for border of the nose hole and it looks like okay let's place the ears this one goes to bottom of the ear and this one goes to this part and this joint goes to the middle of the ear so let's check it from here as well just put it in the middle and for this one just put it on top and finally let's place those parts this is back of the head top of the head and that's it it is now ready to be wrapped so right now you can click on wrap but before clicking on the wrap let's check the settings again so in here you will see a project setting you can turn it off and turn it on there is this option that if you want a final projection or not let's go back and click on wrap and this is wrapped mesh. Let me show you the mesh. So as you can see, most of the parts are okay. But in here, you will see some problems according to the projection. We can fix those easily, but I will just show you the results that you will get directly from the wrap. So this is also eye area. And you will see some problems in the mouth area as well because it is intersecting with each other so let's fix this mesh 
and then let's check the other option. To fix this mesh, I will go to the Metema topology and then go to sculpting. While our main mesh is on live surface, I will go to sculpting mode and then choose smooth brush and then click on our mesh. What I recommend is don't make it too big or don't make it too small. It's just this kind of size is okay. You can press B on your keyboard to increase or decrease the brush size and then just go here and start to click on the surface. You can also turn on the symmetry and just click release, click release, click release, click release and the eye area is easily fixed. Let's check the ears, let's click. Click and release. I will do only click and release. I don't do continuous click, but click, release, click, release, click, release. And as you can see, this area also easily fixed. And then you can also fix those areas as well. You can see some bad deformations on the topology. You can easily fix it like this. For the mouth area, what I recommend is, I recommend to wrap your models while their mouth is open. But in this case, it will still may work. You just need to test this. If it is not working, I recommend you to open the mouth. And then go to nose. And nose area is also fixed like this. And that's it. We have our final topology ready. So you can use this mesh in your Metehuman 5.6 projects. Also, our wrap function have an option to create eye meshes. Go back to settings and for the mode, just choose NO. Let's go here and click on wrap. And as you can see, we have two spherical objects for eyes. You can use those meshes in your joint transform function as well. And that's it. This is how you can wrap your custom meshes with Metapipe. Till next time, good luck with your materials and bye.